Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. Today I'm here with a review of the Samsung M8 monitor. This is a 32 inch 4K monitor that is definitely something that I've been really interested in. I was glad that Samsung actually sent it out to me. So thank you to Samsung, but also this is a serious monitor for serious people, but also it's a fun monitor for fun people. So if you like serious business and you like serious fun, this actually works out really great as what I like to call a lifestyle monitor because not only does it work as a 4K monitor, not only can you use it without a computer because it has built in different things like a browser and you can plug in a keyboard and a mouse to it and you can go that route and have access to Microsoft Office 360 and also a browser. That's pretty cool. It has a built in webcam which ha actually has a little magnetic cap that goes on the back. You can put it on the front if you want to keep people and from invading your privacy. Uh, if that's something you're concerned about, you can put it right on the front. But very interesting because it has smart apps just like a smart TV. So this is a great one if you want to use it for work and then you want to turn around and use it for play or use it for just watching TV. If you've got maybe a one bedroom apartment, if you've got an office and don't have a dedicated TV, this works out great because you've got all your stuff built right into the monitor and you can download the apps just like you could with any Samsung smart TV. It has multi-window support. So you can actually use one of those smart apps. You can have one dedicated for YouTube and then also using also your computer. I plug my laptop straight into it. Run two windows at the same time, which is pretty great. You can run them in parallel windows or one smaller, one bigger. So picture in picture. So if you want to kind of pay attention to what's on maybe a movie and be working at the same time, not that we would do that. That's cool. And it also has a dedicated game mode where you can switch back and forth with a little bit better response time for the gaming and shift it for ultra wide gaming so you can have a 16 by 9 ratio or a 21 by 9 so you can change that up if you want for your gaming. So a lot of cool stuff here and it even has the USB-C port with the 65 watts of power so you can plug something into it. So if you want to plug in your MacBook, if you want to plug in, I actually use my Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. That's what I leave kind of as a dedicated workstation over on mine as you can see here plug it in, it gets the power loop feedback straight to my monitor, but it also allows me to dual display it. It allows it where I can work on my laptop and use the monitor, or it even allows you to use the webcam from the monitor in conjunction with your laptop. It's actually, it's really, really cool. So two things I use mine for are one, so I can plug in my Galaxy Book, or also so I can use it with my MacBook if I want a bigger landscape for editing videos. Walk over, plug it right in. You can even get remote desktop management, so you can do that. You can remote into your Apple or Windows PC, and you can use Dex, and you can use AirPlay, and you can use a SmartThings app to enable other phones that don't have the connectivity to connect with the monitor as well. So it's really crazy what all this thing can do. It's also got 99% sRGB in the color gamut, so you get great colors, great contrast on here. You also get great brightness on here with a 3,001 contrast ratio and up to 400 nits brightness, which is pretty good when it comes to a monitor screen. And then that 4K is also really nice because you get the extra pixels per inch, so you get a better, higher resolution image whenever you're playing games, watching movies. Not the most amazing for playing games. It does have a four millisecond response time, which is kind of on the fringe of where you'd want that for casual gameplay. It's not a one millisecond. It's not a sub one millisecond. But again, $699. Built-in speakers, has a remote. The remote can charge with USB-C. So it's not something you got to change out those little silly disc batteries in all the time. All you have to do, plug it in, recharge it with USB-C. I wish that it had a charging port on it. It would be nice if the base were wireless charging, but it's not. It's just a standard flat base. Actually, the ergonomics on it are great because it's a really thin monitor and it has very, very thin bezels on it. So you get the maximum screen real estate. You're not having a bunch of plastic stuff all around the edges obtruding your usage of the screen. So I like that. I like the brightness. I like that it's also got HDR as well. So you can have that for enhanced quality for watching your videos, things like that. And overall, I think it's great. It's a good monitor for work. It's a good monitor for play. And then you can use it for the TV, which was a big selling point for me. I've got it out here in my office. I do have a big TV up on my wall, but it's not always convenient to sit there like this all the time. So if I want to kick back, watch 4K content on the 32 screen, 32 inch screen, I could do that. Also, it's nice because you can use the standalone apps like Google Duo, connect it with your Duo account or with your Google account, and then you can call, make your Duo call straight from the TV slash monitor. And it comes with a stand. So this isn't like the crazy business where you're spending like $1,500 on an Apple monitor and then you got to spend an additional $400 or whatever it is. It, it's crazy what they want you to pay 
for the Apple monitor. I saw that from the get-go and I'm like, I will not be buying that. This one is $6.99. I would buy this on my own. This is something that I would not have a problem paying $6.99 for because not only is it a monitor, it's 32 inch, it's 4K, which good luck trying to find a decent price 4K 32 inch monitor from the get-go. And then you get all the smart apps, then you get remote desktop management, also Dex native support, and then all the other cool stuff you can do with it. I was blown away. It was just like a learning process as I continued to use this monitor over the last couple of weeks. Like I got this probably about three weeks ago, and I meant to get this out a little bit sooner, but my son had a football injury that caused us a lot of heartache, and uh, he's perfectly fine, but uh, his road to recovery, uh, definitely there's been a lot going on, so I, I would have liked to have got this out sooner, it just gave me more time to spend with it and more time to enjoy it. And it's also kind of funny. They call it the Samsung M8, like the Mate, Samsung Mate monitor. Mate as in companion. This is a great companion monitor that does a lot. It's not just like a TV. It's not just a monitor. You can use it for gaming. You can use it for work. You can use it for play. You can use it for casual stuff. And it's even nice, too, because you can just fire up Spotify on it and use the native speakers, which the volume on the speakers is pretty good, too. Here, check out this sound test. You can see what it's like. Uh, just playing one of my YouTube videos, but you can get a feel for the sound here. As this guy, the Pixel 6, but they shaved off $150. Now, is $150 really enough to convince people to go out and buy this phone, especially since there are downgrades in the screen, in the camera, in a couple other different areas? So, as you can see, it's a great looking monitor. It fits in a nice space for a 32 inch. It's not too big, it's not too wide. Unfortunately, it doesn't swivel. Uh, or maybe it's pivot. I don't know which one they call it. It does tilt, you know, back and forth to a, to an extent, so you can adjust that. Also, the height you can raise and lower that, so you can get it for your optimum convenience. And then, depending on how you're sitting or what you're doing, you can raise it or lower it however you want, based off of the stand. So that's also a nice feature. But I really enjoyed it. It's a pleasure to use at six ninety nine. What this is is really it's kind of a direct comparison between the new studio monitor that Apple has, and that one costs about almost three times more. Like if you look at it, apples to apples, you get the stand, all that stuff. It's about three times as expensive, definitely more than two times more expensive than this monitor. And this one, I feel like is more versatile. It's great because you can use it even if you don't have a PC connected to it. Again, you can fire up the browser and you can even do stuff like use Google Duo. I mean, that's crazy to be able to do that natively with just the monitor. And the webcam is actually really high quality too. So uh, you can see the footage here uh, just to show off some of the resolution on it. It is a nice webcam that works out great with this monitor, even on 4K, so that's really nice. And another cool feature is it actually has smart assistant functionality built in where you can choose to either use Alexa or Bixby and use it kind of as a smart assistant or a hub. It's really kind of neat because it also picks up. You can use and talk directly to it because of the built-in microphone. So there's not a whole lot this thing doesn't do. It's like smart display, smart assistant, TV, gaming console monitor, work monitor, productivity. You can do so much with this thing. I, I I think that it's really cool. I mean, there are downsides to it. Of course, yes, $699 is not the cheapest monitor in the world, but for what you get, $699 I think is a very fair price. It does have several colors to choose from, white, pink, green, or blue. I have the white one. And even all also has that kind of fishbone effect on the back where it's not flat. It doesn't really pick up fingerprints. And it just looks nice. If you have this in a workspace where people are going to walk, be walking behind it and see it, it looks very, very nice. It looks very modern. looks kind of chic. And also with connectivity, you have the two USBs and also the micro HDMI, HDMI on the back. So it actually comes with a micro HDMI cable. So micro HDMI to full HDMI. So you can plug it in directly to your computer that way. And when it comes to connectivity, you've got wireless connectivity as well. You've got Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 4, so you can connect not only stuff for your wireless solutions, you can connect this directly to the internet, standalone. You can also use Bluetooth and connect your headphones to it, connect a speaker to it, connect a lot of other different stuff. So very, very cool that this has all that level of connectivity built straight into the monitor. It does not have display port out on it, which is not the end of the world because it's not doing a high refresh rate or anything crazy like that. But with the two USB-Cs and then the HDMI out mini, you're good to go that way. And it gives you a couple different options. And it's nice that you get the two cables. You get a USB-C cable and you also get the micro HDMI to HDMI. So you're pretty much set up with whatever you want to plug it into straight out of the box. And that even gives you the option to plug it into two different sources because you get two cables. And it's just a nice little monitor. Uh, it's not the greatest in the world for gaming. It doesn't have a high refresh rate. It doesn't have a low response time. It doesn't have... 
the most amazing viewing angles on the edges. Now, it does have decent viewing angles, but the, again, this is designed to be a monitor where you're kind of looking at it straight on. So they opted for better contrast, better color saturation, and stuff like that, where you get a good straight on appearance with the monitor when you're using it. But that's pretty much it. I know I've kind of talked about a lot here. It's not been the most structured in the world, but <laughs> I'm not... I don't always review monitors. I haven't reviewed one in quite a while, but this one really, really struck me. I was great to get this as a review option because I think that this is a good monitor for a lot of people. It's a good one-stop shop monitor. It's not like, okay, I need this monitor for this. I need this monitor for this. For casual purposes for just about anything, this is kind of like the Swiss Army knife of high-end monitor support with 4K and it gets the job done. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments about the Samsung M8 monitor, please Head down to the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, found this helpful, then please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.